off work, I'm on my way home, and I see my car that I pay for in this driveway of this house, and who, my girlfriend, is upstairs Stop. with this no, guy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You just told me that you liked him, didn't you? You like him, right? Okay, bye. How many times have you been here? How many times have you been here? Bye. Do you want me to go ask him? I'll go ask him. Stop. Move. Move. Stop. Hey! In what? I didn't tell you, please. How many times has she been here and when was the last time? She was here yesterday. Okay. But we never fucking slept together, okay. man. How, when else? She showed me over to Boston Pizza. She's never slept here, I swear but to you fuck you guys have been making out and everything. We've made out, that's it. She told you that we were done, right? She told me you guys are fucking done. That I wouldn't do this to you. I told her that. I told her I would never be done. You guys were together. I told so, her that. Bree, we what do you have? To, what do you have to say to me? That. What do you have to say to me? Seriously. How, what do you have to say to that me? I'm genuinely sorry. That you're genuinely but, sorry yeah. for cheating again. I like him. Keegan. You're cheating I'm... again. Stop. You've been I'm... with me for how many years? We live together. We have a dog together. I'm trying to leave Keegan. I hope you're fucking happy now. I seriously hope you do. Okay, bye. I hope this was fucking worth it. Bye. Because everyone's... Mmm. <laughs> Guys, that is hard to watch. It is gut-wrenching. That makes you sick to your stomach. But let's break this whole thing down. Remember, all women operate on a dual mating strategy. They want a guy who has resources, a guy who can give her a better life financially, who's going to buy her a car, who's going to buy her that nice house in the suburbs, who's going to buy her a dog, just like the guy said. They live together. He's basically taking care of everything, I take it. And then on the other hand, they want a guy who's physically and sexually attractive, who they want to get with. But here's the crazy thing, here's the messed up part. It's hard for her to get a guy who's attractive and who's going to take care of her like that long-term provider guy because he doesn't have to pay to play. The guy's house that she was got caught over, he's like, you know, what's going on? I guarantee he didn't take her on not one day. He didn't pay not one bill. He's not doing anything for her, just getting physical, just getting sexual. The guy even said, oh, we only kissed. We didn't do anything. And what's crazy is he seemed like he was more in a panic than she was. She was calm. He's like, what do you mean, dude? She, I thought you guys broke up. She said you guys were together. Well, what was going on? He's basically shaking like he did something wrong. And she's sitting there like, you know, Keegan, bye. Okay, bye. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want this. And what's even more crazy, the guy's asking, so what do you have to say for yourself? She says, you know what? I'm genuinely sorry. And here's the thing, I genuinely believe she was sorry, but she can't help it but to use Keegan and the other guy. Because Keegan, he's just a weak beta male and she needs to survive. So she's like, man, I'm not really into Keegan. I don't really find him all that attractive. I don't respect him. So, you know, I'm just here to use him and drive his car to the next guy's house who I actually want to smash, who I actually want to get bent over and ran through by. Guys, this is facts. If a woman is not physically and sexually into, I don't care what you do for her. She's going to end up drifting off. It's only going to take a little bit of time. Only time will tell. She's going to go be with another guy who she actually wants to get with. This is why I always tell you guys. Stop trying to put the cart before the horse. Stop trying to pay for these things for women. Do all these things for her and expect that she's going to be loyal to you and give you consistent sex. What it's going to do is it's just going to buy you a little time and then she's going to get annoyed by you just like she's doing with Keegan and she's going to go drift off and go be with a guy who she finds physically and sexually appealing. Guys, you don't have to pay to play. If a woman is into you, she's going to give it up to you. You don't have to do anything. She's going to go right to your house just like she's doing that guy. And she got to have sex with him while the other guy is at work because the guy said, oh, that's my car. I'm just getting off work and I'm seeing my car. It looks like this at a neighbor's house or a guy that they might have been friends with or maybe associates uh, with. But he's like, man, I'm working hard. We have a dog together. We live together. We, we, we've been together for years. He's invested a lot of emotions, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money. And guess, look at, look at it. Look what he gets returned. He gets cheated on. And what's crazy about it is he's so weak. He's like, you cheated on me multiple times, basically. How many times you going to cheat on me? And that's what does that mean? That, listen, she's not really physically and sexually into you. It's just how it is. She wants you to leave. She even said, 
you know, Keegan, you know, I'll just want this to be over. I, I don't, I don't want you. And he's like, okay, is, is that it? And there was a long pause. Like his breath got taken away. Like his soul got taken away. He paused for like a good two to three seconds. He's like, wow, basically, I hope you're happy. I hope that's what you want. Well, of course, that's what she, she wants. But since you don't find basically the situation working out for you, you try to force your hand. And a lot of guys are in a situation like that, especially married men. They're with their wives and their wives were never really into them like that. It was just a security thing, a resource thing. And now the husband catches her cheating and smashed by the dudes. And now he's like, so what do you want me to do? He can't fathom. He can't think and, and, and realize that, listen, she was never truly attracted to you physically in the first place. And women can play it well. They can get with you. They can smile just for survival. Remember, they need to survive so they can put on multiple masks. It's sad because she's conflicted. She's actually sitting there like, man. And you can see the look in her eyes. She's kind of like, man, bro, Keegan, I don't really like you like that. Like, I like this guy. I, that's what she likes. The guy's house she was at, she likes him physically. And, and she just can't really tell him that in a way. Like, hey, I want to have sex with this guy, but I do want to be with you because you take care of me. It's sad. And what's crazy is, I guarantee you, Keegan's going to give her another chance. Going to give her another opportunity. He's running in the house like, man, what's going on? What's Dude, that's not your girl. It's just your turn. It's, it's just how it is. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the highway. She belongs to the university. She belongs to the universe. That's just how it is. Because if you don't find a woman that's into you as far as sexually, and it feels like you got to pay a lot of money to get to know her and hang around with her, I'm telling you, you got your hand stuck in the cookie jar. Because in your mind, you think, oh, I'm just doing this out of kindness in my heart. I love her. But in her mind, she's like, oh, yeah, got him. Remember this quote. Women love opportunistically. Men love idealistically. So what does that mean? That women, they look for love. When they say, I'm looking for love, they look for an opportunity to have a better life, to, to basically not pay bills, or to at least go have, to have a, a better future, right? To live comfortably. Men love idealistically, which means we don't look for women to do that. When we go out and hang out and, and try to, you know, mate and get together with a woman, we just want a woman who's kind. We think, okay, she looks good. She's beautiful. She will always be loyal to me. We have that idea in our mind. So we're like, man, she, she's sexy. She's beautiful. If I, if I take care of her, you know, idealistically, realistically, in my mind as a man, she would never cheat on me. But that's totally wrong, right? That she, I'm telling you, the vast majority of women are in relationships are hooking up and having sex with other men. You guys can say, oh man, you just, you're hurt. No, I'm telling you, it's true. Now, you probably hooked up with women who are in relationships or married. I have. I'm telling you, these women are out there getting it in because the guys that they're actually with, number one, they get bored of them. Number two, they were never really into them in the first place. They got with these guys in relationships or married because they didn't want to pay any bills because they, you know, wanted that relationship to feel like, you know, some guy actually likes me past the bedroom. And then when they get that fix, when they get that security, now it's back to the streets. See, relationships and marriage are just carousel breaks for the most part for women. They get tired of getting ran through and riding the carousel. Now they want a guy who's going to love them for them and give them the world and not see them as a piece of meat, even though they see themselves as that. And then once they get that guy, that beta male long-term provider, now it's back to dealing with guys that they're actually sexually into. This is how it's hard for women to quote unquote date. Why do you think they say, all these women are saying, I can't find a good guy. There are a lot of good guys like Keegan. There are a lot of loving guys who are going to provide and, and, and buy them a car and, and pay the rent. and do all this. There are a lot of guys, tons, but there are not a lot of guys like that dude in the house who she was cheating with, who she's actually physically and sexually attracted to. There are not a lot. So this is why a lot of women say there's no good men out there because the guy in the house, she wants uh, that guy to do what Keegan is doing, but he don't have to. She knows he does. So she's like, well, I guess I... Uh, Okay, I got to keep this guy. So while you're at work, grinding, working hard, doing what you got to do, being a good little boy, being a provider, what's going to happen is she's going to be at that other guy's house getting smashed and that guy's doing nothing. We all know guys who, who smash women for free. 
Heck, you have, I have. Listen, this is nothing. That's because she's into you. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to negotiate attraction. You don't have to come to the table and say, okay, here's what I have. I can give you a house. I can give you a car. I can give you resources. I can take you on trips. I can, do, I can buy you a dog. I can, buy, I can buy you a goldfish. And then you just give me loyalty and, and love and some sex on occasion. No, this is not the 1920s or 30s. Women have phones. They can go over here. They have access to this dude. They can get dudes that they're actually sexually into and they can use you for your resources and money. This is fact. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it needs to be taken, guys. I'm, I'm serious. So here's what you need to do. Analyze your situation that you have with a woman right now. How much effort and resource are you putting out compared to the companionship and, and loyalty and sex that you get? I mean, just analyze it. I'm not saying you go through your woman's phone, but just look. You can really tell if she actually is into you. When you guys get together and hang out, if you guys are in the beginning stages of dating and relationship, I mean, what are you guys doing? Is she coming over just to have sex with you? Is she talking sex sexually with you over text or phone? Like, I can't wait to do this with you. Or when you guys hang out, you got to go on a date first. You got to pay first. Then you guys go back to your house or her house to have sex. How is that dynamic? That will tell you everything you need to know about the situation and relationships that you have.